How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Gerald here with Cigar Industry. Now, tonight we're going to take a look at a cigar that I know I'm going to struggle with a couple of words in the name. I'm going to give it my best shot anyways. That cigar is Espinosa's Loranja Reserva Azulo in Toro. Stick around, guys. Reviews coming up. If you're new to this channel and you enjoy cigar reviews and cigar related artwork, consider clicking that subscribe button. All right, guys, so for the sake of this review, we're going to call this one the Espinosa Loranja because I think I'm close to pronouncing that one correctly. The Azulejo in the name is the one that's really biting me. I don't think I'm even close on that one. But overall, definitely an eye catching cigar. What really grabs your attention the most is just the color of that wrapper. Now, I'm not sure if this is a Maduro. I didn't see anywhere in the description that this was a Maduro, but it has a nice dark chocolate brown color to that wrapper. That wrapper is in Ecuador and Sumatra. The binder, which also is going to be a little tricky for me to pronounce, is the Brazilian Era Paraca. It also contains a Nicaraguan filler. Both the band and the foot ribbon just really pop on that dark wrapper. The blues, the golds, the whites, all the colors just really jump out at you. This is definitely an eye-catching stick. It's definitely one that caught my attention. So can't wait to smoke this one, guys. So on that note, let's go ahead and cut it up, light it up, and see how good it really is. So two things really just jump out at me about this cigar. The first thing is that it does have a little bit of a slightly loose draw. Not so loose that the draw comes off as airy, but it is a little bit looser than I care for. The other thing that jumps out at me is that this cigar has a black pepper taste in that retro hell. There is a sting to it as well. Nothing that takes you out of smoke. It's not one of those retro hells where it feels like your eyes are falling out of your head. In the draw, it's more of like bolder type of tobacco. There's a hint of a sweet note in that tobacco. But for the most part, and granted, we're just a couple puffs into this cigar. I'm just getting a bolder tobacco taste. Interesting start. Hopefully the draw will tighten up a tad bit. Hopefully the black pepper notes will dial back a little bit as well. But yeah, overall, interesting start. Looking forward to see how this one's going to progress. So I'll keep working on it, guys. Come back with my thoughts shortly. I'm going to have to look up at the... <laughs> I cannot talk tonight. I'm going to have to look up if the cigar is a Maduro because for me, it does have those flavor notes or those characteristics that I typically pick up from Maduros. The tobacco notes that I'm picking up, they're dark, they're a little bit heavy, they do lay across your tongue. I do pick up some other flavor notes. I get a light toasted tobacco note. I also pick up a light sweet flavor as well. The Retro Health for me is still a black pepper. However, it comes in waves. So in some waves, it's a very potent type of black pepper. It does sting your sinuses. Other waves, it's a lighter taste. Interesting smoke. I think the biggest standout for me is that in that Retro Health, you do get a sweet finish. Overall, it's just a little bit too dark, too heavy for my liking. Now, as far as the construction of the cigar goes, really no concerns other than the draw is still a tad bit loose. The burn on this, although it's not razor sharp, it's not bad either. Smoke output's good. Ash is pretty solid on this one. So yeah, interesting cigar. Curious to see how it's going to progress over the next couple sections. So I'll keep working on it, guys, and I'll come back with my thoughts on the second, third shortly. <music> smoking all over the place. So there's some changes in that second third. The second third for me is still a very bold, very dark tasting cigar, especially in the tobacco notes. However, I'm starting to pick up a few other subtle flavors. One of the flavors I do pick up is a refreshing spice. It's not a peppery spice. It's not even a sweet spice. It just has a very refreshing taste. At times I get like these dark fruity notes. And here at the tail end of the second third, I started picking up like a grapefruit. It's a tad bit sour, but it does lean towards a flavor that does remind me of grapefruit pretty much the same cigar as far as the retro hell goes it's just the draw that's changing construction wise no changes there either so i'll keep working on it come back with my final update shortly all right guys reaching the finish line on this one and overall it's a decent tasting cigar it's not one that blew me away but it's not a bad tasting cigar either the final third the notes that i pretty much picked up was like a dark earth it wasn't as dark or heavy as those dark tobacco notes i was picking up earlier but it's still pretty much the same type of experience as the previous two sections i did get a little bit of a tangy taste in there as well it didn't really specifically taste grapefruit but it did lean along those lines as far as the tangy notes goes Retro Hell is pretty consistent in all three phases, pretty much just black pepper, followed by sweet notes. 
overall it's an okay tasting stick i think it's one if i mix it with something like a sweeter drink or something like that i probably would enjoy it a little bit more but yeah still not a bad cigar i rated it an 80 out of 100 now this cigar goes for $12.05 it is a toro so it is a 6x52 for those of you out there that do enjoy bolder cigars i think it's worth that price i got over an hour with this one but that's my thoughts on it guys for those of you out there have had this cigar before let me know what you think about in the comments below and i'll see you guys on the next review